You are a teddy bear. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. And so begins the banter between my son and myself on any typical Saturday or Sunday afternoon or any other time I'm feeling like annoying him. <laughs> so the argument continues on. You have two ears like a teddy bear. You have two eyes like a teddy bear. You have a mouth like a teddy bear. And he gets a word in otherwise, but I don't have fur. Well, you're a very young teddy bear, and you do have fur, and it's growing more and more. You have two hands like a teddy bear. But I have fingers, and I have an opposable thumb. <laughs> well, teddy bears do also, you just can't see it. You have two legs like a teddy bear. But I have feet, and I can run. Well, teddy bears can run, but you just can't see them do it. <laughs> I don't have a tail like a teddy bear. No, somebody cut your tail off. <laughs> but I have guts inside of me. I don't have stuffing. Prove it. Hmm, I have to think about that one. How do I prove I have guts? Hmm, did not got there yet. I was born. I came out of mom's tummy. I have a belly button. Teddy bears don't have a belly button. Yes, they do. It's underneath the fur. <laughs> what became a game has turned into more for me an academic exercise and for my poor son the Saturday and Sunday ritual of dad annoying me with another game of 20 ridiculous questions. <laughs> Why do I persist in doing this? Because it teaches my son how to handle irrational arguments. He's clearly not a teddy bear. He knows he's not a teddy bear. I know he's not a teddy bear. He knows that I know that he's not a teddy bear. So why persist in this? Because it's an irrational argument, an unfounded statement, and unfortunately in today's society, He's a teddy bear until he proves that he's not. It's not that he's not a teddy bear until I prove that he is. The mere statement today that you are something is the truth until you prove you're not. So it is an exercise in equipping him in how to handle that irrational argument. And it's been neat to watch it progress. It went from, you have two eyes like a teddy bear, I don't have glass eyes. So very most outward feature, to I have an opposable thumb. Bears don't have opposable thumbs. No longer just the teddy bear, rationalizing to the bigger picture of what does a bear have that the teddy bear represents. To the latest of, I have blood and guts, and I came from my mom, so I am not a teddy bear. The argument has other factors. You're a dog, sometimes transformed to you're a kitty cat when he doesn't want to be the dog, to his latest book of alienology. So, well, you're a blue, which if you're a fan of Coast to Coast, that's one of the more popular aliens that seem to evade the United States and the world. Or you're a gray, or you're a Martian. And from what he has read in the book, he comes back with his arguments as to why he is not that character. So it's broadening his ability to argue and to make a rational point. So then you think, why are we here at Toastmasters? One, to cure our fear of public speaking, but two, to make a point quickly and to get to it. And in today's society, more and more, the skills we develop here as far as getting to the point and developing an argument are going to be required. You only need to watch the news. And it doesn't matter whether you're a Republican or a Democrat, a liberal or conservative, the behavior of our members of Congress and the talking heads on TV over the past three weeks has been deplorable. We have heard in the news the Republican Party has been compared to the Nazis 
in Germany. What an absurd relationship to make. We heard on the news that if we cut $61 million from the budget, 6,000 seniors will starve to death. So the retort was, well, if we only cut $33 million billion from the budget, only half as many, so only 3 million seniors <laughs> will starve to death. These are honest arguments that have been made, but they're baseless and not factual. The issue I have is that in the retorts, they've always been emotional. The attack was emotional to begin with, but the retort should be factual. Or the person making that irrational, uh, irrationalization that you're a teddy bear should be forced to prove that you're a teddy bear, not that you, the victim, have to defend how you are not like the Nazis and Hitler because you want to save the United States from bankruptcy. So in conclusion, my thought should be, you are a teddy bear, and the retort from my son should be, not the banter back and forth, Dad, you can't prove that. So the next time you're faced with this irrational ac accusation, remember, you're innocent until proven guilty. Make the attacker prove their point to you, not that you have to do the work finding the facts to refute their point. Thank you very much.